Hello, I'm Rohini Krishnamurthy. I'm a reporter at Down to Earth. I cover science, technology and climate change. The cumulative total expenditure for adapting to climate change in India is estimated to be Rs 85.6 lakh crore by 2030, according to the RBI's report on currency and finance. As a starting point for adaptation financing assessment, the cost of policies that contribute to the achievement of various SDG goals was estimated and aggregated as well. Climate adaptation measures need to take into account the infrastructure gap caused by climate events. This could be at least 2.5% of the annual GDP. But before central banks can implement green capital regulation, bad loans in the banking system need to be reduced to alleviate potential financial risks. It's also not advisable to have a uniform climate mitigation strategy across sectors because emission intensities can differ. Without any policy action, India's carbon dioxide emission levels may rise to 3.9 gigatons by 2030 from 2.7 gigatons in 2021. Overall, delayed and lenient policy actions generate adverse impact on both growth and inflation outlook in the medium to long run. For a developing country like India, the transition impact is considered minimal when following the current policies in the 2030 scenario, but even then, the GDP will shrink by 1.19%. India is one of the most future risk-prone countries to climate change, noted Global Climate Risk Index 2021. So, how does a developing country mitigate such events? Sector-specific climate mitigation strategies can address the crisis to an extent, as suggested by the report. In order to avoid the 3.9 gigaton scenario, renewable energy, electric vehicles, energy-efficient appliances should cater to 55% of the country's future energy requirements. For the remaining 45%, which includes industries, animal husbandry and agriculture, a combination of deploying efficient carbon pricing or transferring the responsibility to producers can help address the issue. Niti Aayog's state-wise performance analysis gives an idea of how different regions are performing on the climate change and energy fronts. Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Jharkhand are lagging behind in terms of overall scores among largest states according to the policy think tank State Energy Climate Index, based on six indicators. Gujarat, followed by Punjab, is the best performer due to its electricity distribution companies, faring well when it comes to infrastructure and financial position. Among the smaller states and union territories, Chandigarh, Goa and Delhi are the highest performers. While a lot needs to be done in Lakshwadeep and Arunachal Pradesh. To know more about the latest developments in science, technology and climate change, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description.